Michael Bradford's unborn son will someday ask his mom about tonight and how people remembered his dad. Bradford's remains returned to the tri-state tonight. He died in a suicide bombing in Afghanistan. Nine on Your Side reporter Amy Wattis joins us with the solemn occasion. Amy? Clyde, tonight I spoke with Michael's wife, parents, and two brothers. And while they say this has certainly been the hardest time of their lives, they're very proud of Michael for serving our country. Now, family and friends waited patiently for the homecoming of his body here at CVG. The Patriot Guard was also here to honor Bradford for his service. Bradford was one of 15 killed in Afghanistan on Thursday in a suicide car bombing in the capital city of Kabul. He was 26 years old. The Fort Thomas native and Highlands High School graduate was overseas while working as a contractor. Previously, he served in the Army in Iraq and several other locations. He leaves behind a wife and unborn son. Just having him home is, is just a blessing. Um, there ain't nothing else to say. I mean, it, it's the saddest thing in the, in the world to have to do is bury a son. I'm just so glad that we're finally home with them. And I'm just so glad that Michael was able to finally meet a son. And uh, the love and support from everybody is just amazing. And I really can't ask for anything better for a homecoming for my husband. And his funeral will be held on Friday in Fort Thomas. Amy Wattis, Night on Your Side, live from CVG. All right, Amy, thanks. In just minutes, Night on Your Side.